What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another episode of the AC Milan Career Mode. And uh, we're going to start off this one with a game against Olympic Lyon in the Cup, uh, the Europe League that is. Um, that's the squad I'm going to go with. I'm going to go, it's the, uh, the same squad that I used in the uh, the match before this that we won 2-0, uh, courtesy of two goals from Suzo. Um, there are some tough fixtures. We have uh, Olympic Lyon away. Then Napoli away, then Leon at home, then Fiorentina at home, then Fiorentina home or away. I don't know. Um, our next like our, our next relatively easy match is Pescara away, but it's still an away match. Our next like match that we we should be winning, uh, like no matter what, is all the way up here against Carpi at home. But all these other matches are definitely gonna be tough games. Um, I'm not sure at this point. I kind of want to value the Europa League higher, but I, I still think I'm going to go for the league first, and because of that, I'm going to be starting... I mean, there's... I'm just going to use this team. Uh, I don't... Like, players are going to get fatigued regardless, um, you know, making appearances off the bench and whatnot. I'm not going to worry too much about, like, playing a full reserve team in this match so that they're ready for the Napoli match. I mean, given our current form, we're going to lose or draw against Napoli away. I mean, really, I'm, I'm not hopeful about that game. This one, though... As long as we can score an away goal, I'll be happy with it. Uh, Olympic Leon in decent form. Uh, Bonham and with an early goal. Canceled out from Depay, though, unfortunately, uh, from the penalty mark. And uh, still no goals yet after that. Two really early goals there. Uh, Lacazette, unfortunately, has made it 2-1 to them. Hopefully we can not concede again. All right, Meyer with with a goal. I, this I'm perfectly fine with this result. Uh, as long as we can hold it. There we go. All right. Uh, th I was worried about going 3-1 down once they got that second goal, but we got the uh, the second away goal, so all we have to do is win at home or, you know, draw um, with less than, you know, a g less than two goals conceded. Um, so that's doable. It's definitely doable. There's the uh, the table. Um, let's, let's actually go look at this table. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we have Juventus with 56 points. Followed by Napoli, three points behind them. And there's a ten-point gap. And then, after that, there is uh, two points separate third place from ninth place. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's how tough this league is this season. As well as the fact that Roma are joint on points with, like, relegation. Like, you know, they're, they're like basically really close to getting relegated. And Roma are, like, a really good team. So, I don't know, like, this this league has just been mental. Like, it's I, I don't have words to describe how crazy the league has been this season. Uh, but we've got Napoli away next. Um, if they win this, they uh, they make up some ground on uh, on Juventus. If we win this, I mean, it's it's not a six-pointer at this point because uh, Napoli are really, like, far ahead of us. Uh, but it's still an important game, nonetheless. And uh, hopefully we can pick up three points. Um, I am gonna send out this scout because I need to. Uh, I need to sign. A th I think I need to sign a goalkeeper into the youth academy um, in order to meet an objective that the uh, the board set me. And uh, so I'm gonna send a scout for three months, specifically looking for a goalkeeper. We don't need another youth goalkeeper, but that's just to meet that objective. It's a pretty easy one uh, to meet. Okay, Napoli away. Um, I'm gonna go with that same team again. I mean, they're they're performing well. Um, so why not uh, just go with them again? I already forget who scored in the last match, uh, but hopefully Suzo can continue his good form. Napoli with three wins out of three uh, in the last three games. That's a little... That's, they're in good form. Um, this is going to be a tough one. Meyer with an early knock. Hopefully he doesn't have to come off. And Sinye with the, with a the goal. And I'm just not looking forward to this. I just As long as we don't lose 3-0, <laughs> I'll be happy like we did against Inter Milan. And Sinny missed a penalty. Very easily could have been two 0 Very easily could be three 0 because he scored a second. I mean, we should not. We should not by any means be losing this three 0 But I wouldn't be surprised. Can we get one back at least? No. Okay, so we lost two 0 A slightly more fair result. I still don't think that that is that fair of a scoreline, um, considering the uh, you know the quality of both teams. We really shouldn't be losing by two goals to them. Uh, but it is an away game. And we're not in the best of form. I mean, it's starting to pick back up a little bit, but we're still uh, still not doing too hot. 
I'm going to go do some training right now. That striker, 55 rated right now. I'm pretty sure he has 84 to 90 potential. Either that or he has 83 to, 90, to 89. Uh, but either way, he's got really high potential. Um, so he's probably going to go into the starting 11 at the beginning of next season. I would love to get him in the team this season, but I just don't think that he's going to be good enough. Um, all that being said, our strikers are just pitiful. Um, absolutely shocking, all, all of them. Uh, okay, so Suzu's going to keep his place because we need him in there. I'm going to give... Uh, uh, it's either Aguirre or Honda. I'm going to go with Honda. Via's going to go in there for Costa. Kaká, back from injury, is going to go in at Cam. Um, Isco is going to go out. Um, maybe. No, he's not. He's, gonna, he's, he's a little bit tired, though. Um, oh, man. This sucks. We have so many players out of form. We got Paleta back from injury. Um, and Niang is... Uh, I'm, I'm going to risk, risk Niang because this is an important match. And Isco is a little bit tired and out of form. So I'm going to go with Aguirre here. Uh, so it's a little bit of a risk for that. Um, and then I'm going to go with Paleta and Gomez at the back. Um, not Grimaldo, he's uh, They're still in really bad form, all these players. And then Casillas is in bad form as well. So I'm going to give Conti another go. He, uh, he he did pretty well for us earlier in the season. Hopefully he can carry that over. And hopefully Niang can uh, continue to be our best striker despite the fact that he's a natural left winger in this game. Um... He's, hopefully he doesn't get injured as well. Uh, that's That would be awful. He's been injured so many times, and it's ridiculous. It uh, almost makes it not even worth having him in the club. But uh, when he does play, he's, he's done well. Hopefully he can get a goal here. Alright, Leon at home. Should be a fairly easy match. I don't know why it's taking this long to load. Um, Alright, let's, let's go. Let's pick up... Let's pick up the win here, or a, or a nil-nil, or 1-1 one, one draw, I mean, it, whatever whatever gets us through the next round. Um, scoring first would be huge in this one. So, oh, for fuck's sake, though. We, we didn't bit, we didn't score first, oh, and now we have to score. If we fucking get knocked out, oh my god, there goes our fucking goal advantage from awake. We're probably going to get knocked out right now. This is ridiculous. This, this game is fucking stupid sometimes. I am... I'm actually really pissed off about that. That is fucking... Oh, that's just... I don't have words. We shouldn't have fucking lost that match. We are such a better team than Leon. Like, yeah, they, they have Depay and Lacazette up front, but who the fuck else do they have that's better than our players? Nobody. Like... Oh, God damn it. Mm, that that pisses me off a little bit. Oh, and it doesn't make it any better the fact that we have uh, Fiorentina up next, which is going to be equally difficult. Oh man. And okay, Meyer's out for four months as well. Fuck me. This is not this is not going to be a good end of the season. It's really not. I mean, there's so many things that are going against us right now. There's just, there's no way that we're getting third place, even. Oh, my God. Just everyone in the team is just, uh... I don't know what I'm going to start for this. I mean, Cornet's going to go back in. Niang's tired. Oh. Um, I'm going to switch to a two-striker formation. Uh, do I want to see the... Where's Barrios? Is Barrios on loan? Barrios is on loan. I might bring Barrios back. Um because we're, all of our players are in such bad form and they're pretty tired, I think Barrios could um, could help us out a little bit. Hopefully he's like 79 rated by now. I forget what he was when he went out on loan. I think he was like 76 rated. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's just go in here and look. Okay. Um, learned out. we got a lot of players learned out. Um... Barrios is only 75 rated. Wow. Um, I'm going to bring him back, though. Uh, it's only going to cost us 4,000 pounds. That's fine. Uh, and he's going to start in this next match. Hopefully he's in decent form. 
because uh, we're going to go with a uh, with a four one two one two wide formation for this next game. And uh, Cornet's going to go there. We're going to start with Costa and Villa up front. The Spanish connection up there. Um, we don't have a, another right mid that's fit right now. It's, it's going to have to be Suzo then. Uh, and then we're going to go... I'm, I'm actually going to put Isco at Cam and see what he can do there. And then Barrios is, of course, tired. So I'm going to have to go with Mari, maybe. You know, no, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with a 4-4-2 for this one. Actually, I was really uh, counting on Barrios starting there, not holding flat. Um, okay, so hopefully this will work out. Um, do I want to change the defense around? I'm gonna get Zapata in. Zapata has been pretty solid throughout the season. I'm gonna give Munoz another go. I mean, all of our all of our players are out of form right now, so it doesn't really matter who we we start really. Um, gosh, it's once you get in bad form, you're just absolutely fucked in this game. Um, this is definitely one of the more uh, the more difficult career modes that I've done. Okay. So, Fiorentina at home. Second to last game of the episode. They're in good form, which worries me. I'm hoping our home field advantage can give us, uh, you know, enough of an advantage to win the game. They've got a decent team but not quite as good as ours. And David Villa has scored his first goal for the club, and it is a very important one, especially if it ends up being the winner. 30 minutes left to go. Isco from the penalty mark, though, makes it 2-0, and Isco misses a penalty, which is unfortunate, but it probably isn't going to matter. Costa with a goal, though, and wow. Three Spanish goal scorers and a 3-0 win against Fiorentina. Maybe, maybe that's the key, um, using the Spanish connections in the team uh, I, th that's, I think that's the first time that all three of those players have started on the field together. Um, and Costa, I just realized, that is his first goal for the club this late on in the season. Let's just go look right here. Villa with one goal in four games, which isn't great. But then you look at this, 21 games played. It took Costa 21 games to score one goal. But... And actually, that's that's the first, uh, other than Villa, that's the first striker, like, the first big striker we've had. Like, we've had Baca, and then we had Dzeko, and then we had Costa. Dzeko didn't score a goal. Baca, I think, scored, like, somewhere between one and three goals. Pathetic, though. And then now we have Costa, another big-name striker who just hasn't performed. And finally, he scored a goal. So hopefully he can keep scoring from this point. Uh, I did say that it was likely that once he eventually scored... Uh, that it would open the floodgates. Hopefully, I'll be right about that. Um, all right, so now we got Fiorentina, the same the same opposition. V is not going to be fit uh, enough to play. Isco is red carded. Suzu is not going to be able to play. Uh, we're going to have to go with Niang up front. Um, Honda on the right. I'm going to go with. Uh, I think Mestor and Bonaventura in the middle. Uh, Cornet is going to stay there, Grimaldo is going to stay there, Plate is going to have to go out for Romagnoli, Zapata is going to stay in, even though he's pretty tired, um, and then Casillas is going to stay in as well. Okay, I'm not as confident about this one, but if Costa can keep scoring, that'll be massive for us. That I mean, this could that could be the turning point in the season, that game. Uh, it really could be. Hopefully it is, because the season has not been going very well so far. We still can't, we, I mean, we can't win the title at this point, but we, st we could still win the cup, could still finish third in, in the league, uh, getting us Champions League football. But here we go. Gotta beat Fiorentina in the cup to go through first. We just beat them 3-0. They have a pretty similar lineup overall. Um, I'd say the core of our lineup is still the same couple of different players though and Cornet has scored a goal all right I'm not gonna okay 2-0 there we go that's that's game over I think I'm pretty sure we're gonna go through at this point 15 minutes left don't even care if if they score one yes we've made it through into the next round of the cup courtesy of two goals from Cornet very nice to see uh to see some different players scoring at this point, uh, that, that could be big for us this at the end of the season. 
Uh, but that's going to be the end of this episode. So uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time.